Good evening and welcome to the Founders Day celebration presented by the Westlake Council of PTAs. I'm Kathleen Poe and this is my co-chair Lola Wenham. Thank you for being here this evening as we honor our 11 award recipients. We would like to share that there were 77 nominations for 42 nominees. This evening is a celebration of those outstanding individuals who have dedicated their time and talents toward improving our Westlake schools and community by exceeding the mission and purpose of the PTA. For those who are attending Founders Day, the Founders Day celebration for the first time, welcome. We are so happy to see you. Tonight is a night full of surprises, laughter, and maybe even a few tears, which we we're ready for. Next. We're ready for. Let us know. We would also like to recognize all our volunteers who support the events, programs, and services we provide for our community. Through the Celebration of Volunteers presentation, you have been able to view just a glimpse into all the talent, skill, heart, and time that our members dedicate to our community. Whether it is a direct donation, a meal at a staff luncheon, chairing a committee, or posting a PTA event on your social media account, we could not do what we do without all of you. We are 1,255 members strong. Kathleen and I could not have coordinated tonight's event without the amazing Unit Founders Day Chair team. This team is made up of at least one representative from each of our six PTA units, including our four schools, the Early Childhood PTA, and the Westlake Council of PTAs. This dedicated team coordinated the marketing, nomination, and voting process for each unit's award. And this evening, they are assisting with the ceremony. They have also done a variety of behind the scenes work over the last several months and weeks. We would like to recognize recognize these individuals and their supportive unit presidents and building principals. As each unit's representatives are introduced, please stand and remain standing to be recognized. Please hold your applause until after all the names are read. I will do my best with all the names. I apologize if I miss. <laughs> Representing the Westlake Early Childhood PTA, Founders Day chairs were Lucy Billick-Hill and Aaron Kohler and President Julia Notek. Thank you, ladies. Representing the Westlake Elementary School PTA, Founders Day Chair Mary Macias, President Sarah Camden, and Principals Beth D'Agostino, Kim Tucker, and Jim Sanfilippo. <laughs> Representing Dover Intermediate PTA, the Founders Day Chair is Amber McLoney, President Abby Samidi, Principal Nick Miller, and Assistant Principal Mackenzie Hall. <laughs> Representing Lee Burnison Middle School PTA, Founders Day Chairs Lauren Backus and Lisa Miller, President Diane Jordinger, Principal Amanda Musselman, and Assistant Principal Kevin Berry. Representing the Westlake High School PTSA, Founder Days Chairs Lisa Vera, Lauren Falcone, Jane Peer, Selena Zanotti, and President Kim Mather, Principal Paul Wilson, and Assistant Principals Ned Laver and Bridget Elias. Did I, was, I, was I close? I got it. Close. Great. Really, without all of your help, we could not have pulled off an event of this magnitude. It's hard to get all of these moving pieces in one place, and for some of you, you're a lot harder to catch than others. We would also like to welcome and acknowledge our Board of Education members present tonight, President Joe Kraft, members Barbara Lazinski, where's Barb? Hi, Barb. Barb, you just had like knee or hip replacement, right? Yeah. Um, Liz Piernot. Where's Liz? Hi, Liz. And our superintendent, Dr. Scott Goggin. Thank you all for joining us tonight.
And I forgot, where is John? John Fanukin, you're hiding in the room. Hi, John, there you are. Thank you. Take that thing. Lola even made the font larger for me, but <laughs> it's not really working out. Plus, she gave me the, the big job of announcing a ton of names, so it's all good. Okay. Okay. Um, now we would like to recognize our past award recipients who are here with us tonight. We are honored that you continue to show your support for this event. Please stand as you are able when your name is called and hold all applause until the end. There are a lot of names, just so you know. And they are not in alphabetical order. Um, Sarah Camden. Don, oh, our, I'm sorry, oh, these are the past Ohio PTA Achievement Award recipients. My bad. Sarah Camden. Yes. Yes. Diane Jordinger, please stand up. Lauren Backus. Kim Mather. Liz Piernot. Diane Riesdorf. Susie Skybe. Jen, Jen Richards, Megan Matu, Jennifer Hill, Nicole Sauer, Karen Ryan, Jan Schmidt, Pete Zagray, Barb Hall, Karen Herzberger, Mary Macias, Kathy Woolner, Beth Hollick, Jill Minerd, I hope. Uh, Mary Essig, Jane Peer, Ellen, Aaron Basil, sorry, Diane McGregor, Janine Fanukin, Donna Stevenson, Linda Trapp, Lori Jolliffe, Molly Jones, Barb Detweiler, Allison Gregory, Jessica Kim, Susan Hunter, Rebecca Kowalski, Amber McLoney, Paul Wilson, Patty Barnes, and Amy Havelka. Okay. Our Helping Hands Award, Helping Hands Award recipients who are here tonight, uh, please stand when your name is called. And again, hold all your applause until the end. Megan Matu. And Lori Joloff. Yeah. Lori Joloff. Yeah. They're multitasking they, tonight. They, they're so helpful. They are um, actually over at the high school girls basketball game, but they will be back to join us. So anyway, so applause for them. Okay. And finally, the T and PTA award recipients, formerly known as the Outstanding District Educators, we have with us tonight Nancy Jackson. Thank you. Before we move on, on to our award portion for the evening, we have a few brief opening remarks from Lauren Backus, the president of West, Westlake Council of PTAs, Joe Kraft, president of the Westlake Board of Education, and Dr. Scott Goggin, our superintendent. Lauren. Good evening, so happy to see you all here. One of my favorite nights of the year. Thanks for joining and on the fun. Um, tonight I'm your historian, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about Founders Day and the founding of PTA. Um, tonight we are celebrating the founding of PTA over 120 years ago and honor the contributions of those who enrich our students' experiences are dedicated to the PTA mission, which is to be a powerful voice for all children, a relevant resource for families and communities, and a strong advocate for public education. To set the stage for our evening recognition, I would like to share some history. Uh, there are three women credited with the founding of the National PTA. Those are Alice McClellan Burney, uh, Phoebe Apperson Hurst, and Selena Sloan Butler. Their story is inspiring, especially when you consider that it began in the late 1800s when women did not have the right to vote and social activism was not popular. 
Uh, in early, early 1897, Alice Burney and Phoebe Hurst started a nationwide campaign because they believed that mothers would support their mission to eliminate threats that endangered children. So on February 17th, 1897, more than 2,000 people, uh, mostly mothers, but also fathers, teachers, workers, legislators, all attended the first convocation of the National Congress of Mothers in Washington, D.C. The numbers surprised Mrs. Burney and Mrs. Hurst, who were expecting about 200 people, so only 10% of who arrived. Uh, Alice Burney appealed to all mankind and to all womankind, regardless of race, color, or condition, to recognize that the Republic's greatest work is to save the children. But in many states, segregated schools were largely sanctioned, or legally sanctioned. To address those students' special needs in 1919, Selena Butler founded the National Co Congress of Colored Parents and Teachers in Atlanta, Georgia. This organization was modeled after the National Congress of Mothers and worked closely with them until they were ultimately merged in 1970 into now what we call the National PTA. The National PTA is the largest volunteer child advocacy organization in the nation, and it's since its inception, it's established many programs and called for legislation that improve our children's lives, such as things like the creation of kindergarten classes, I think that was probably a while ago, right? Child labor laws, hot and healthy lunch programs, the juvenile justice system, mandatory immunizations, arts and school education, and school safety. And we do um, have active participation with the Ohio PTA. Um, I regularly attend a District 12 uh, meeting, which is the council, all the council presidents across our area. And Lisa Catalano is here with us tonight. She's the president of District 12. So thank you, Lisa, for being here. Um, Founders Day is a reminder of the substantial role that PTAs play locally, regionally, and nationally. Uh, in supporting parent involvement and working on behalf of children and families. It's a time to reflect and take pride in our many accomplishments, to express appreciation for the collaborative relationship we have with what the Westlake City Schools administration, teachers and staff, and their respect for all of the work that we do. And I will tell you, I believe that strongly. We have one of the best working relationships between administration and teachers and parents in the area. Uh, the founders of the National PTA represented women of imagination and courage. They had a simple idea to improve the lives and futures of all children. They understood the power of individual action, worked beyond the accepted barriers of their day, and took action to change the world for all children. Tonight's honorees showcase the vision of our founders, and we look forward to congratulating each of you as you are honored here tonight. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Joe Kraft, the president of our Westlake City Schools Board of Ed. Welcome, Joe. Thank you, President Backus. Also, thank you, Mrs. Poe, Mrs. Wenham, for a fabulous evening. We are happy to be here tonight. On behalf of the Westlake City Schools Board of Education, thank you for making us a part of this evening. You know, when I, I think about um, the how and the why that you're here tonight, the how. Maybe your child, maybe your student, you wanted to get more involved and to get involved in that child's life. But everyone in this room has reached further. You've reached further really to your greater family to really help all of our students here in Westlake and all of their families and frankly the entire community. So thank you. Today you know is one of the most important celebrations of the year because of the people in this room. Certainly we celebrate the creation of an organization 120 years ago, right? The American Congress of Mothers. And as I look out, I see mothers and fathers, a powerful group of people truly akin to family, working together as partners from many different points of view. From many different points of view. That makes us strongest. But we do so with a common purpose, helping our children grow to inherit and be caretakers of this world and prepare then for the next generation. What you do cannot be accomplished by anyone. You've empowered our children to go on into limitless numbers of opportunities, engaging the spectrum of careers from STEM to the arts to the trades. You have big hearts for special needs. You reached out and you support diversity. 
These are certainly goals of the founders over 120 years ago. But you didn't stop there. I continually think of the many recent accomplishments you have all made right here at home. This family has built buildings. In fact, you've rebuilt every building in the district. You've encouraged an environment that is safe for our kids to grow without drugs. You've encouraged an environment that is without threats of violence. And you've encouraged an environment that helps our students address technology appropriately. As I look across this room, I see family members who care very much for their broader family. I can think of no better pursuit than to educate our children, which furthers and strengthens our democracy. And you do so with love. Know the work you do is truly awesome. And I know it's not easy. Know that you are prayed for every day. Not just for your safety and that of your broader family, but so that you never stop doing the beautiful work that you do. Tonight we recognize some very special people that have accomplished amazing things. And to those we say congratulations. But know that everyone in this room makes an enormous impact on the district. On behalf of the Board of Education, thank you. If I may now uh, ask you to give a warm Westlake welcome to our superintendent, Dr. Goggin. Thank you, Joe. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be able to address you this evening. Uh, it is truly my pleasure. So each year uh, I do stand up and I mention, and even as I sit down to write these notes, how much um, I enjoy this evening. It's one of my favorite evenings of the year. Uh, I couldn't say that my first year, because as I was coming in my first year, I had no idea what Founders Day was. Even though it was explained to me, I, it, was, it was an ordeal that I think you have to experience in order to really get an understanding of what Founders Day. As a matter of fact, even after it was explained to me, I had to Google it and kind of went back through. And I have to tell you, they didn't put any of what you do in here on Google. So <laughs> that is just letting you know. So, um, so I have new thoughts this year. <coughs> Having experienced this uh, multiple times now, as I sat down today, uh, kind of like what Lauren had just mentioned, <clears throat> what's has developed has been the appreciation for the relationship uh, that PTA has with the schools. We talk about our membership and how it's 1,200, uh, I think over 1,200 families and their members in this program. It is not only the membership, but it's what you bring with your membership. At our tables tonight, we have past honorees, current honorees, who probably have no idea that they're going to be honored. Some probably with a little bit of an idea, but some people will still be surprised, I am sure. And we have current PTA members, administrators, certified staff, classified staff from our schools. Um, we have past winners, uh, and we have board members. But we also have, the great part about it is we have people come back who don't even have kids in the school anymore just to be a part of this evening. It just shows how special it is. So this night is a true reflection of not only honoring certain people in the room, but it's a reflection of how people who play many different roles in this community pull together for our students. When I coach sports, one of my favorite quotes was John, by John Wooden, and it was, the main ingredient to stardom is the rest of the team. So it applies to this, where Tonight, we will have individuals celebrated, and they deserve every accolade they're going to get. What's more impressive with these star players, to steal your term, um, shine, is that these star players shine bright in a room full of our all-stars. What they've accomplished, they couldn't do without the rest of you. So thank you to all of you who support uh, our schools and our families, and congratulations on our to our soon-to-be uh, honorees. Thank you. I'm like, I'm like Columbo. You know, I have that thing where I always forget, like even if I'm, I'm presenting to PTA, I always forget something and come back. So the Columbo-esque type of things. I would like to reintroduce uh, uh, Lola to the podium. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you doc Thank you, Dr. Goggin. So before we get started with the fun presentation of our awards, we're going to just give, I'm going to give a short little background on the awards that we give tonight. 
In Observance and Founders Day, our PTA units recognize many people who contribute to improving the lives and the future of our students and schools in Westlake. Tonight, we will present three types of awards. The first is the Ohio PTA Achievement Award, which will be awarded by each of the six PTA units. The recipients of these awards have given outstanding service to children and youth in our community. This honor recognizes and rewards the recipient and donates in their honor to the Memorial Scholarship Program for graduating high school students across the state of Ohio. Second is the Helping Hands Award, which is a district-wide award given to a PTA member who is a non-certified educator. This recipient provides high-level PTA involvement and support, which has made a positive impact on the lives of children. They have participated in activities involving children and youth, and they are dedicated to the PTA purpose. The Helping Hand Award recipient will be presented with a plaque, and their nomination will go on to district level. The third and final award given out tonight is the T in PTA, formerly known as the Outstanding District Educator Award. The recipient is a certified educator who is a PTA member involved with the educational process of the children in the West Lake City School District. The recipient provides a high level of involvement in and support for the PTA, has made a positive impact on the lives of children, and is dedicated to the mission of the PTA. The TN PTA recipient will be presented with a plaque and their nomination will go on to the district level. Once each award recipient is honored and announced tonight, they will join us here at the podium. After they receive their awards, they will be escorted back to the lobby to be photographed. To begin our presentation tonight, we're gonna to start this evening with the Westlake Early Childhood PTA. The presenter for the Ohio PTA Achievement Award is Aaron Kohler. everybody that's a long walk um, <laughs> hi my name is Erin Kohler and I am a member of the Westlake Early Childhood PTA um, and tonight uh, I recognize that our chapter of our unit of the PTA here in Westlake is different than all of the other units um, but what we contribute to this community and to the the families and children in this community is no less vital uh, and no less uh, contributes to the the fantastic community that we have um, the person that we are awarding today um, with our uh, Ohio Achievement, PTA Achievement Award, is uh, exemplifies what we do in this community as the Early Childhood PTA, and I, I think of three examples that um, has really made this person stand out in the what they accomplish and what they provide and contribute to the kids in our, our community and our families. Um, the first thing is that this person is incredibly kind uh, and incredibly generous of spirit. Um, this is the person who, whenever we have an event, whether it's a meeting, whether it is a social activity, whether it's a service activity, they make a point to go and talk to each person in the room to make them feel welcome, uh, to make them feel like they belong within our community. Um, this is something that really can't be taken for granted. Uh, it's that kind of engagement and that kind of kindness and generosity of spirit that makes it a community rather than just a bunch of people showing up to an event. Um, this is the person who, whenever a family or a person is in need, they're the first person to jump in there and offer a meal, an invitation, uh, or to offer to watch your kids for you if that's what you need. And that really is such an amazing contribution to our community and what it means for us to really grow together. Uh, the second thing about this person that really makes them an outstanding uh, member of our community and really contributes to uh, the care of kids is their engagement and the fact that they're always so willing to get their hands dirty. Um, this person's role really requires that they touch all of the pieces in our PTA, but what they actually do goes above and beyond that. They're the first person to show up to every event, the last person to leave. Um, they're never going to just allow the event to happen without making sure that it's every part of the PTA is being successful and every person who's running any individual aspect of it feels like they have the tools and the guidance that they need to be successful uh, in the roles that they're doing. Um, that makes for great um, participation from our families, it makes for great events for our kids, and it makes for great service to the community. Uh, finally, this person is 
so committed to innovation and growth of our organization. Uh, I think the every time I hear something about people who've been involved in early childhood PTA, it is it is everybody has a wonderful relationship to that. I think people speak so highly and glowingly of their experience in early childhood PTA. But things change and our community changes, and this person has um, been committed really to innovating and w being willing to take on the information from other people. When we know that we needed childcare at our meetings because a lot of us have kids and spouses who work and are able to come, they made it happen. And now my kid thinks of PTA meetings as parties and comes to hang out with all of your high school NHS members who get to take care of us. Um, this person has um, suggested that we have regular meetups for us parents and walking clubs and things like that that make us better parents and make our kids better kids and better members of this community. Um, so for all of these reasons, if people haven't figured it out, I'm feeling emotional. I'm really so, so um, excited to present our award this year to Julia Notek. so much for our uh, community. I've been the president for two years now and she deserves this so grateful, so gratefully. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just want to say thank you so much. Part of the early childhood PTA has meant so much to me. It's really how I felt invested in the city of Westlake. And um, it's just given us way more than we could give. So thank you so much. The melding of our, our four elementary schools this year, the Westlake Elementary School PTA will be awarding four awards tonight. The presenter for the first Ohio PTA Achievement Award for Westlake Elementary School PTA is Jen Richards. I'm not gonna be as good as she was, and I have my little notes I'm gonna read off of, so don't mind me up here. Um, I first met this Westlake Elementary School PTA Ohio Achievement recipient in a job interview. I remember being impressed with his organizational skills and his binder of information he was willing to share with us. You could tell how excited he was by the prospect of being a building principal and how much that role would mean to him. I love, I'm hearing you guys, now I'm like. <laughs> I left the interview excited about the press possibility of working with him. A week later, I was pleasantly surprised to receive a thank you note in my mail from him, thanking me for my time during the interviewing process. Since it's pretty obvious who this recipient is, I would like to formally congratulate Principal Jim Sanfilippo as one of the <laughs> achievers. Mara, stay there. I have more, I have more. <laughs> I have more. Uh, I have more. Uh, <laughs> that was the spoiler early, so spoiler early. All right, there's more, there's more. Um, I have two... <laughs> I have two daughters that attended Bass Elementary and personally held a variety of PTA positions that allowed me to work very closely with Mr. Sam Filippo. During his four years at Bassett, he was always up for whatever challenge the PTA presented. The biggest, of course, was being a participant in a very cold dunk tank fundraiser. <laughs> Anything for a Chromebook, right? <laughs> Gotta get this Chromebooks. Mr. Sam Filippo was very logical and very attentive to the minute details of the events. We attempted to problem solve beforehand to avoid any conflicts as much as possible. It was very easy to work with Mr. Sam Filippo, and we often would have quick office or hallway chats to touch base and update each other on events. He came across as very energetic and had a lot of enthusiasm for our school and for our students. 
after Mr. Sanfilippo was at Bassett for three years, we saw a different side of him when his daughter, Pina, became a Bassett student. We saw a softer side as he developed even more pride in the PTA events and programs now that he was, uh, now that his daughter and family were also participants. Pina and family quickly became involved in PTA events, including summer math and reading, uh, young authors, and our healthy cooking uh, challenge as well. As a parent of a special needs daughter, I also had a chance to see Mr. Sam Filippo and his special education background in a variety of IEP meetings. I appreciate your calm and caring demeanor, always willing to lend an ear and a helping hand whenever he could. As my daughter's needs are constantly changing, Mr. Sam Filippo helps celebrate the highs and also feels the disappointment of the lows too. Now that we're at the new elementary school, Mr. Sam Filippo is working with the preschool and kindergarten grades and my interactions with him have decreased. So I reached out to a variety of friends to ask for their input. From our PTA president, Mr. Sam Filippo's commitment to PTA is clear, both as an administrator and a WES parent. He is available, engaged, and happy to help. Parents appreciate his participation in PTA meetings, and he actively supports the PTA mission. We are fortunate to have him as one of our three building principals. From a Westlake Elementary School teacher and parent, I'm very thankful Mr. Sanfilippo encourages me to be present for my kids' moments at Westlake Elementary School while also supporting me as a teacher. He is a passionate leader with a charismatic energy that is contagious and exciting. He sets challenging yet realistic expectations for both students and staff. He expects the best and in results, that is what everyone around him aims to deliver. He is empathetic to the varying needs of this team and is always the first to lend a hand in sport, or in short, he's plain awesome to work for. From a Westlake Elementary School parent and frequent substitute teacher, if I had to pick an emoji from Mr. Sanfilippo, it would be the running man. <laughs> He is always getting ready to run. Mr. Sanfilippo is consistently present and engaged with students. If he sees any staff member that needs assistance, taking a student to another location, holding a door, or anything that needs done, he steps in unasked. From our house first VP, Mr. Sanfilippo is a champion for the PTA and often has an encouraging word to join or look to PTA for information in almost every email he sends to the parents in his house. Mr. Sam Filippo is welcoming to PTA and parents and adaptable to programs that other organizations come to him with. While being a Westlake Elementary School parent, it's a mouthful, uh, as well as a principal, he is excellent at separating the two roles and holding them independently of each other. He is clear in his intentions and does not use his influence of one on the other. He is physically present in the house and individual classrooms. He is easygoing while maintaining a successful house. It's very easy to go to him with ideas or concerns that, and he is able to discuss, work through, and even helps to ease anxiety with helpful solutions or encouragement. We're very grateful for Mr. Zanfilippo and his input to improve PTA activities. Around the room, you will see uh, cards created for Mr. Zanfilippo by the Westlake Elementary School staff and all the students. <laughs> and it is an absolute honor to present the Ohio Achievement Award to Mr. Zanfilippo. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, thank you. I actually presented for Jen last year, if any of you remember. Uh, thank you. I mean, it is a true honor to be part of this district, having now my own children uh, in this district. Uh, I started here 15 years ago and came to the first Founders Day, and I thought it was awesome and how much everyone does. So thank you to all the PTA for everything that they do, and I've been blessed for 15 years to work with some amazing people. So uh, that's uh, just been a, a blessing for me and my family. And it was a no brainer to move to Westlake so my own children could have all of this. So thank you very much.
so sweet. The presenter for the second Ohio PTA Achievement Award for Westlake Elementary School PTA is Mary Macias. Okay, that was that is going to be a hard act to follow. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to ask Aaron and Allie to come up to help me. Thank you for that introduction music. Um, this Ohio PTA Achievement Award winner enjoys running. And I don't mean running around, taking care of her family, the PTA, her friends, baking the best chocolate chip cookies in the whole world, and working for people that she takes care of when they're sick. Yes, our award winner, Jen Jones, does all of those things too. But I mean running marathons and half marathons and constantly training. I commend her dedication and commitment to her running, and I'm not a long distance runner myself, so in fact she often uses me for her warm up walk or her cool down walk, um, which I actually enjoy other than the fact that it makes me feel really out of shape. Um, I enjoy our time together. Anyway, I, don't, I, I feel that there's something just different about people who run marathons, so I turned to Google and looked up to see what it means to be a marathoner. The first blog that popped up was from a Boston marathoner who outlined his thoughts on being a marathoner in four bullets. The four bullets that popped up accurately apply to Jen Jones. Um, so I will use 13.1, the half marathon distance, as my guide to list just 13 of the many positive traits and reasons as to why Jen Jones deserves this award. I will start with the four the blogger used. Mile one. The first marathon bullet from the blogger was goal-oriented. Jen is definitely goal-oriented and will accomplish whatever she decides needs to be done. If she sets her mind to it, she will do it. Mile two. The second bullet was being a planner. Yes, Jan, Jen plans and manages the calendar, which includes her three children's activities, her work schedule, her running schedule, her husband's travel schedule, her PTA commitments, and anything else that needs to be done. She also worked on the transition treasurer team and help plan how to combine all four schools' finances and budget for WES's first year. This was a complicated task since each neighborhood elementary school PTA was set up differently and run differently from each other. She spent a lot of time thinking and planning the best practices to bring and taking opinions from everyone else, and she set up the treasurer role in the best way possible. Mile three, committed. Jen Jones is very committed to her family, her friends, her community, and the PTA. In the past, Jen has held many positions in the PTA. I'll try to name them, but I probably will miss some. Garden club, math club, art show, Bassett treasurer, secretary, summer math and reading, kindergarten meetups, field day, fundraising, Mitchell's gift cards, the list goes on. And of course, this year she took on the treasurer position for WES, which is a huge commitment, and we are all very thankful. Mile four, passionate. Her passion for helping others is clear. She can be found volunteering in her kids' classrooms, baking cookies for friends, picking up an extra shift at work to help a sick coworker, checking on others when she knows they are going through a difficult time, looking at kids' bug bites, the list goes on. <laughs> Mile five. Jen Jones looks for the best in others. She gives people the benefit of the doubt and strives to understand their point of view. She's very empathetic. Mile six. She's very good at badminton, also cornhole, and all backyard games. So, as is her husband, Trevor. So don't say I didn't warn you. Mile seven, patience. Oh, her patience. It's impressive. Trust me, she's had me on her badminton team. She also has a lot of patience when planning and executing things such as the Bassett Art Show. Mile eight. Jen recently ran a half marathon in Columbus dedicated to angels. She told me her angel, Isaac Jones, was mile eight. I want to pause and remember that whatever Jen does, she always has Isaac in her heart, and he's in all of ours as well. Mile nine, kind. Her kindness for all people and animals is incredible. Mile 10, a good listener. Jen is the kind of listener that you can actually tell is listening to you and hearing you when you talk. Mile 11, Jen goes out of her way. A great example of this is her help with Garden Club. Jen graci graciously and volunteered herself and her husband Trevor to build Bassett a beautiful garden. I'm not talking about a plot of land. Thank you. 
Um, these were beautiful wooden planting boxes that were used for years. Mile 12, dependable. Jen is very dependable and always follows through with anything and everything that she commits to. She's organized and makes sure that all the work gets done. You can always count on Jen Jones. And mile 13 is dedicated. Her dedication to children, families, and the best for our community is clear. Jen Jones, you clearly deserve the Ohio PTA Achievement Award, and I'm honored to present this award to you, and I'm honored to have you as my friend. Thank you. Uh, I'm a little speechless. Um, gosh, it's hard to look at a room full of so many people that work so hard every day for our kids. Um, I'm just, I am so thankful for this community. Um, I, I didn't know what I was getting into when we moved to Westlake for the schools, but um, way more than I ever could have imagined. So thank you all. The final presenter for actually the third and fourth Ohio PTA Achievement Award um, is going to be from Westlake Elementary School PTA is Sarah Camden. And you'll see why she's presenting too. Good evening, I'm Monica Verchik. I'm helping present this award tonight. We are thrilled to introduce the next recipient of the Ohio PTA Achievement Award for Westlake Elementary School. Everyone in this room knows this person, and when we think of her, many positive words and thoughts come to mind. Words like generous, this person gives of herself relentlessly. Her PTA resume is long, and we are so thankful that it continues to grow. She has a long history of volunteering and leading in Westlake Elementary PTA. Our elementary PTAs, DIS PTA, and Westlake PTA Council. She's devoted to our schools and to helping our children. Welcoming. Her bright smile and warm personality automatically make you feel invited, included, and welcome. This has served her well, chairing things like membership, event, chairing things like kindergarten play dates, being part of nominee committee and executive boards. This person leads with inclusion and that makes us all feel appreciated. Organized. Have you seen her binders? Her organization skills are top notch. This has benefited all of us as she has led and coordinated many events and activities including Fall Fest, social media, website, headroom parent, and events like this one today, Founders Day. Her attention to detail orientation is beyond amazing. It is on her list. If we can all rest it easy knowing that she can do it perfect to perfection. Leader. This recipient is an amazing leader. For the two years leading up to our new elementary school, she was an active and important of, of our tra PTA transition team. She led committees focused on communication, marketing, membership. She led surveying efforts to gather feedback and input from the community, from parents, from teachers, from board members, from anyone who had a voice that they wanted to share. She welcomed that so we could understand what do people love about our PTAs today and what do they hope our new unit could be. She also consistently asks really thoughtful questions. Things like, why do people join PTA? What's their experience volunteering? What keeps people engaged? Always focus on what we can do to build the most vibrant, thriving organization that's accomplishing and delivering on the PTA mission. Have you guessed it? <laughs> Our next recipient is Lola Wenham. <laughs> 
This year, in addition to co-chairing Founders Day, acting as council delegate for DISPTA, she's also been an important part of our Westlake Elementary School Executive Board. She's been House VP for grades one and two, and she's worked closely with the other House VPs, Sarah Hughes and Megan Navratil, working closely with administration to help figure out how does PTA support the new school. This included things like creating room parents and working with our teachers to have a room parent for every single classroom. Developing probably the most fantastic parent handbook I've ever seen. <laughs> it has every resource you could ever possibly want in it to help make that job easier for our headroom parents. They also orchestrate over 150 volunteers to show up at each and every party. All along focusing on how can we embed more community, how can we embed more camaraderie in all that we do within PTA. And beyond and above all of that, Lola is an amazing mom to Claire and Cameron, wife to Matt, sister, daughter, and to all of us, a friend. Lola, thank you for all you do for Westlake PTAs. You have a kind heart and you are loved by all who know you. Your enthusiasm, creativity, and passion for everything you do make you a truly a joy to work with. And we're so thankful. Congratulations on receiving the Ohio PTA Achievement Award. Well, I'm a crier, so I'm gonna cry. That's why I bought the Kleenex, I got more. Um, I don't, I don't know what you say, all these great people and all these former winners. I think what's amazing is I attended this event for the first time last year. And I remember thinking, well, I'm not gonna know anybody when I show up in this room, right? It was one of the most magical nights for me. It was refreshing and rewarding and thinking all of these sometimes sleepless, sleepless nights of, am I doing it right? Are people gonna enjoy it? Are the kids getting the benefit of it? And then I'm in this room with all of these amazing people from board members and teachers and staff, and I'm like, this is why we do this. And so I love being a part of the PTA in West, like is my home. This is crazy, my kids, I love them. So thank you all very much. You're gonna hear more from me in the rest of this. Thank you. By the way, my kids were supposed to be in bed 15 minutes ago, and my sister was like, what time are they supposed to go up for bed again? Hi. Congratulations to Lola. Our final recipient for Westlake Elementary School PTA cannot be here tonight. And that is because she's receiving another honor tonight at another Founders Day in a different town. <laughs> Clearly, her talents are in high demand. Our final recipient is Megan Navratil. Tonight in Bay, Megan is being recognized for 20 years of service as an educator. Here in Westlake, we're recognizing her 13 plus years of volunteerism and leadership within our PTAs. Megan has been active in every PTA she's ever encountered. From early childhood to Lee Bernison, she's led and participated on numerous committees, including reflections, field trips, Founders Day, Council Delegate, Nominating Committee, Big Kids Resale, Veterans Day, Recording Secretary, Audit, Cosign Wheels, and more. And I'm certain there's a lot more. In addition, Megan's been a very important part of the Westlake Elementary School PTA. She was an active member in PTA transition, and as you know, a, a committee tasked with bringing together four unique and vibrant units into one new unit. Her con contributions to the new PTA are significant. From structure to operations, she was involved and contributed immensely to those decisions. <laughs> Further, she can... <gasps> ah, <geez! I feel like I should start again, but she heard it all already tonight <laughs> in Bay. <laughs> Further, she continued her leadership through the transition by accepting the position of House VP for grades three and four. 
Megan has done an amazing job partnering with the PTA team and administration on the promises we've delivered to the school community. Westlake PTAs have benefited greatly from Megan's thoughtful approach, excellent communication, and make it happen attitude. Megan looks at every situation from a variety of perspectives, and she brings a sense of calm to all she does. We all win when Megan's involved. So please join me in congratulating Megan on her Ohio PTA, Ohio PTA Achievement Award tonight and on 20 years of education at Bay Village. I shrieked in the microphone at you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I don't have anything okay. to say. Kathleen <laughs> has <laughs> I didn't know Megan would be here. <laughs> well, I, 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 I should have had a board. It's just not on the table. That's I fine. will get it for you. That's fine. Thank you can go out back for pictures. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the, the thing? The award? No, you're holding this. Ready? Tag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Okay. So we're going to move on now to the Dover Intermediate School PTA, um, the presenter's presenter for the Ohio PTA Achievement Award for Dover Elementary School PTA. That's not right. I did not edit that. <laughs> Dover Intermediate School PTA. Nick Miller. Good evening. Uh, to start off my comments this evening, I wanted to uh, start with a compliment of uh, Paul Wilson. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> Paul Wilson, I just want to say that the jacket no tie look is totally working for me tonight. I know you were a little worried about it, but it's, you're pulling it off well. So speaking of Paul Wilson, this is a uh, random um, Founders Day fact. I think I've been coming since 2006, and at least as of this minute, this is the first Founders Day that I have not run into Paul Wilson in the men's restroom <laughs> since 2006. This is a uh, yearly event. Um, but this is the second year in a row that I've mentioned Paul Wilson in my Founders Day comments, so perhaps we could start a less awkward tradition, Paul. I don't know. So anyway, um, <laughs> there, ha there have been some amazing highlights since 2006. It's, uh, it's amazing to see um, all of the awesome stuff that goes on in our buildings and all the amazing uh, commitment that uh, our, our community, our Westlake community, puts into our school district. And it's one of the f overwhelming and persistent feelings that I have as a building principal. Uh, I feel like I don't have enough time and enough thank you cards to acknowledge all of the awesome things uh, that I see that go on in the building every day, um, because there are many. Um, so uh, tonight, I want to. I'm very honored and excited uh, to leave a few remarks about a very deserving and very amazing person. So our, our award winner tonight, uh, long overdue, uh, that they haven't uh, received this award, but they're they're very very deserving. And um, I was taken back to the mission and the, um, the vision and the values of our PTA. Uh, and the mission for uh, the PTA is to make sure every child's potential a reality. And that was something that, that really stood out to me uh, when looking at this candidate. Uh, and I looked through the values of the PTA. And I noticed words like collaboration. And I notice words like commitment. And I notice words like respect. Hey, excuse me. Hey, what's up? Oh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Miller. OK. Hey. So somebody's yoga class ended early tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, OK. Hey, Mr. Miller. OK. So uh, this is a huge risk. But I, I'm out of material, so I'm just going to turn the mic over. So why don't you take it away? Yeah. Go ahead. Hey. Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> hey, I'm really sorry I'm late. 
I ran the five miles over here after I dropped my kids off at swim practice. And I really need to make this quick because I got to teach a yoga class in 10 minutes. So I promise to have you out of here in uh, five minutes. But first I got to set up my Facebook live stream. So hold up here. All right, perfect. I'll watch for the questions from the live stream audience, just so you know. All right. So I'm here to talk to you about the winner of the Ohio PTA Achievement Award for the DIS PTA this year. This is going to be absolutely epic. <laughs> I am so pumped. You know how often people have dogs that fit their personalities? That could not be more true of our winner. I like to think of her as the human embodiment of the pit bull dogs that she loves so much. And I mean this in the best way possible. She is tough and strong on the outside, but on the inside, you could not find a more loving, caring, and devoted person. She grabs hold of the causes she cares about and the fights she wants to fight, and she won't let go for anything. She never gives up, and she is never swayed from her goals. At PTA, we are very fortunate to be among the causes that she, she has chosen to fight for. She has dedicated an amazing amount of her time and energy to our mission of helping every child reach their full potential. And when Abby Samiti puts her energy toward a cause, you better either join her or get out of the way. <laughs> On a personal level, I chose to join her, and I can say with absolute certainty that there is no other human I'd rather have on my team. I'm so incredibly proud of what we have accomplished together. This year, Abby's the president of the DIS PTA. But much like her running, her PTA journey has taken her down many roads. She has chaired fundraising, health, welfare, safety, readathon, and reading Olympiad, just to name a few. She has been a room parent and a lead room parent. Many dollars have been raised. Many miles have been walked from Clegg Park. Thousands of pages have been read. Many kids have hats, gloves, scarves. Many butter braids have been consumed. <laughs> Many hours have been spent at f Fun Fest, fall, or fall Fest, and Fun Fair, <laughs> and program kickoffs and class parties, and many DIS teachers and children have received the benefit of staff grants this year because of the efforts of one person. In addition to all this, Abby is now spreading her love of yoga and mindfulness with the kids at DIS on Win Wednesdays by teaching a yoga class each week. She truly has a passion for children's wellness. And at PTA, we are so lucky to have reaped the benefit of her dedication to this cause. Hold on, I've got a, I've got a live stream comment. <laughs> Abby, why are you so short? <laughs> Sorry about that. Between everything this woman does for herself, her business, and her family, it truly boggles the mind that she makes time for PTA. But like everything Abby does, Abby doesn't just make time. She gives all that she has and doesn't do anything halfway. Thank you, Abby, for your amazing level of dedication and for all that you give of yourself. Folks, she may be a pit bull, but she's our pit bull. <laughs> and for that, we should all be grateful. Again, on a personal note, I could not be happier to present Abby Samiti with the Ohio PTA Achievement Award. I will miss my PTA partner in crime next year. Congratulations, Abby, and thank you for all that you have done and will continue to do for the kids in our community. Thank you so much. I am a pit bull, but I really think pit bulls get a bad rap. So if anyone's met my dog, they're very sweet, and we're going to change that image. But I'm so full of gratitude that we chose Westlake. Like, it's, it's been the best experience ever. I thought we would go Catholic schools, and I've never regretted one second, one moment of being in the PTA, being president, and all the other stuff. Um, but Amber, you have drugged me into 95% of the things that I've done. <laughs> by the hair. So next year, without you here, I'm gonna have to drag, continue the tradition and drag some other people in too. But thank you so much for this award. It means a ton. And um, if anyone wants a 30 day to healthy living cleanse, <laughs> thank you.
Congratulations, Abby. Next, we're going to um, do Lee Burnison Middle School. The presenter for the Ohio PTA Achievement for Lee Burnison is Diane Jordinger. I have nothing as entertaining as that. <laughs> so sorry for the boring presentation that's coming your way. <laughs> Might be entertaining because I have new contacts in, so I don't know which way I'm going. So. <laughs> Oh. When you sit down to write a presentation on why someone deserves an award, it's a challenging task, especially when you aren't funny and you definitely are not prop friendly. So with that being said, LBMS Outstanding Ohio PTA Award winner is someone who goes above and beyond their duties in whatever roles they hold, someone who is fair and kind, someone who is reliable. Someone who has passion for what they are doing at all times. Someone who works well with others and learns to collaborate no matter what. Someone who checks all those boxes. Yes, we've got those covered. This person does all of those things. But there's something different that stands out about her. She's welcoming. She's a kind presence. She puts people at ease and makes them feel comfortable. She's funny, bringing humor to all that she does, and most of the time it's the sarcastic kind. Innovative and trying very hard to raise the bar on things that have been done in the past and never backing away from a challenge. She's supportive, consistently checking to be sure everyone has what they need in order to be successful. She has and continues to hold multiple positions in several PTAs. President, first VP, first VP, Founders Day Chair, Field Day Chair, Corresponding Secretary, Student Activities Committee, Membership, just to name a few. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. But of all the things above, we believe the most important trait is that she is humble. She is always underinflating her own contributions or advice. She listens and embraces everything she does with her heart. Her reason, to be sure all of our students and our families within our community are engaged and included. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to be able to present this award with great pleasure to a person I consider my dear friend. Our LBMS Ohio PTA Achievement Award winner is Lisa Miller. videotaping the whole thing. <laughs> um, I'm embarrassed. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, I grew up in Bay Village and to stand here as a demon now, it's kind of like... <laughs> and there's my... <laughs> My Bay friends would probably disown me, <laughs> but he grew up in uh, Westlake, so I guess it's we're kind of even. But um, thank you so very much. Um, I don't know. I, I've been a president before, and I can't still speak in front of everyone as everyone's staring at me. So I just like to say thank you, and I'll make that quick and short. <laughs> So one of the things they tell you when we become Founders Day Chairs, they say, everybody's going to go over the time limit. We didn't even give that this year, and we are right on time. It is amazing. <laughs> do not give for the next people. Do not give them time limits. This is fantastic. Um, so we're going to move on to uh, Westlake High School PTSA. And the presenter for the Ohio PTA Achievement Award for Westlake High School PTA is Jane Peer.
Well, the, the dancers and the magician I hired canceled on me, so <laughs> so sorry. So you're, you're, you're stuck with just me. Hi, everybody. It's good to see so many friendly faces out here. Um, so when I announced tonight's award recipient for the high school, most of you are probably going to be surprised because you're thinking, what? She hasn't won before? <laughs> That's impossible. In fact, we had to check the list a few times, and we asked, is there a typo? Is there a page missing? Um, you know, she, she's just an amazing person. And um, in fact, it's been, I think, about 15 years. She's given countless hours of her time, her leadership, and mostly important, most importantly, her advocacy for the schools and the PTA. Um, and knowing the company we keep tonight, as I read off everything that she's led or co-led, uh, managed or participated, you'll get it. Um, the time, the commitment, the frustration at many times, the celebrations, um, so much goes into to doing what, what this woman has done. So she began her involvement many years ago as an active executive member of the Dover Elementary PTA, where she held numerous positions, um, first vice president, second vice president, to name a few. Um, she co-led a large-scale fundraising effort that provided Dover Elementary the opportunity to purchase 25 laptop computers, numerous electronic whiteboards, um, and while volunteering at Dover, she was also volunteering at DIS and LBMS. Um, she was doing hospitality, nominating committee, among others. In fact, during her time at LBMS, I think she did a uh, coffee house, which was the large scale fundraiser. She also was part of the, the Civil War Ball, which was another big PTA funded uh, program. Um, and at the high school, she's been first vice president for two years, a member of the nominating committee. She's Founders Day chair, so of course, keeping this a secret was really difficult. <laughs> um, well, at the high school, she's volunteered for years um, on the homecoming committee, the wellness day committee, the social committee. She's a friendly face among many other volunteers, students, the staff, everybody knows her, th that she's a person that they can count on. And not only is she actively helping and volunteering, often for multiple schools at once, but she is constantly recruiting others to join and participate. In fact, I don't think the ink was dry on my daughter's kindergarten application <laughs> many years ago when she was recruiting me for the PTA. Over the years, she's helped raise thousands of dollars for the PTA through her involvement in fundraisers as a, as a leader and a participant as a participant, and she doesn't just raise the money, but she's the first one to write her check um, and, I, and make her own financial donation. And you, whether it's a party, a rally, it's Founders Day, um, she's the one that you hear in your ear going, this is for a great cause, it's for the kids, it's for the schools, and, and people come. And speaking of recruiting, so during one of the many nominating committee meetings, uh, the group was dialoguing about who would be a good candidate to take on fundraising. And I should add, for those who have participated in the nominating committee, you know these meetings go late into the night, so your mind kind of gets a little off. <laughs> Um, well, finding no takers, she forgot she had her husband's phone and simply texted, will you do it with me? <laughs> Of course, the text went to my phone, and I didn't see it till later, so you can imagine my dismay, my dismay when I saw her husband's phone number asking me to do it with him. <laughs> so it's, I know it's a really funny story, and actually we still laugh, at, <laughs> laugh about it today, but I think the point is, is like she saw that need, that empty spot of a really important job, and she wasn't gonna let it go. So um, she ended up co-leading co that effort, and she got the job done. So Lauren Falcone, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, wait, I still have more. <laughs> so 
Thank you. I'm just, I'm super excited to present this award to her. It's, I know it's been long overdue, but I actually think the timing's quite perfect because now you all can see what 15 years of service has done for our schools. <laughs> thank so, you, Jane. Thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, my whole family. Thank you, family. So, I think <laughs> The funny thing is, you know, I knew something was off because my husband was really concerned about how Sam was getting to soccer practice, and that's like never on his radar. <laughs> and then Jane offered to pick me up, and then Lisa took my phone and wouldn't let me have it because she saw me stalking my family. Because I'm a planner by trade. I love to plan. I love to organize. I love working with the PTA because I get to meet all of you and work with you, and you're all such fantastic people. You know, parents, kids, uh, staff, administration. I've thoroughly enjoyed. Um, it's actually only been 13 years I've been back, but I've thoroughly enjoyed the 13 years, and I feel like I've so many thank yous. My co-chairs for tonight, um, my partners in crime from Dover, everyone seems to be here. Thank you. Um, they always let me suck them in. And I, I admit it, I'm, I'm a, I sell hard. I mean, I totally thank you. Everyone needs to be involved in the PTA. My sister's shaking her head over there. I suck her in too. So I want to thank um, all my PTA friends and family, but my kids, my husband, my parents, my sister, I mean, my, my kids have done so many odd things for PTA, whether it is <laughs> filling up 200 water balloons for field day at Dover or delivering 10 pounds of hummus for World Culture Day. I mean, everyone has stepped in. Now, sometimes it wasn't always willing, um, but they did step in. And my parents, um, they have always been my biggest cheerleader along with my sister. And my mom, you know, volunteered in the late 70s at Hilliard Elementary. I went to Hilliard. Um, my husband went to Holly Lane. You know, we've been through Parkside Dis. We've been through pretty much all the schools. And we've had, all of us have had such a great experience. I would like to thank Diane Campo, and I don't think she's here tonight, but she called me when I was sitting on the couch with this one in 2008, brand new baby. And she said, you know what? We have an opening. We have a number of openings, would you be interested in doing field day? Just moved to the community the, the previous fall, just had a baby, new house, husband traveling. Oh, sure, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, you could get your husband to do it with you, too. So Tony and I chaired uh, Dover Elementary Field Day for at least six years. And then we passed it on to Lisa Bear, who's not here. She is here somewhere. And her husband, Glenn, did it for another six years. So again, I really appreciate Diane making that call and saying, Lauren, you'd be excellent at this. I mean, she barely knew me, but she knew I was, would show up and hopefully do a good job. Um, but I guess, you know, as, as I do nominating committee almost every year, I, I say I'm going to suck you in. I mean, I mean it. And a lot of people I call, and they, they, most of them say yes. Uh, but, I, you know, just one recently, last week, I texted someone or two weeks ago and she said thank you for asking me thank you for asking me so I guess as we go out there this is such a great organization and keep asking the people you know that's all you need is to ask and I'm sure they'll be willing to help because it is a fantastic group of people and thank you very much this is a great award I appreciate it Ohio PTA Achievement Award for the Westlake Council of PTAs, and the presenter is Liz Piernut. So when thinking about all the people to nominate for the Westlake Council of PTAs Ohio PTA Achievement Award, I always think about those who've had impact across all the schools in the whole of Westlake City School District. This year's winner I would best describe as the person behind the curtain. They're often not seen in the buildings and most of the students don't really know who this person is. Now, I knew what this person did, or at least I thought I did, and then I started writing this speech and I realized I really didn't know what this person did <laughs> and how much they do. So I really think this is a great opportunity for all of us to really find out what this person actually does. So Dana, I'm going to have you come up and help me. And Erin Basil, you won this award last year. So you're going to come on up and be my model. Come on. It's like the Oscars. When you win the previous year, you get to come back. Sadly, you don't get a little statuette. but. You can just stand right up here, okay? Oh, great. Yes. It's all good. Let's do this. All right. So 
when something breaks in the building, <laughs> this person oversees me. You're going to be handed something. You're good. Oh, okay. You're good. Just stand there. Straight. Yes. <laughs> they oversee maintenance. Okay. The hot and healthy lunches that our kids eat. Let's just eat this. All right. Eat more? No. I'm gonna... <laughs> Here. I'll put this on. Okay. okay. All right. So the hot and healthy lunches that our children eat, they're in charge of food service. The, yes, I didn't realize it came from Ikea. So the physical safety of the buildings, they oversee this. Lawns being mowed, snow being cleared from sidewalks, driveways and parking lots, deep cleaning of buildings when lots of kids are sick, the regular kill cleaning of buildings, they oversee the custodial. <laughs> <laughs> they make sure our students get to and from school safely. They oversee transportation. Now all this is part of their normal job. Over the last three years, they oversaw construction of Westlake Elementary School. <laughs> Even before the bond issue passed in the fall of 2016, they were involved. It's a good thing that he's a runner, having run both marathons and half marathons, because once the bond passed, he hit the ground running, securing the location, pre-construction, site work, construction to the opening of the building. I'll never forget touring the building the first day staff were allowed in to set up classrooms. And there he was, pushing a dolly full of moving boxes off of the moving truck alongside custodial staff and movers. So what does a person do after managing this $38 million project of Westlake Elementary School? Do they go on a nice long vacation? No. They were our interim transportation director for a couple weeks in the mornings, running transportation with Ned Lover in the afternoons before Adam House joined the district. Um, oddly enough, I heard some interesting comments about which one people preferred. I'll leave those for another time. <laughs> running transportation. They're now our head auctioneer, the gavel, <laughs> meeting with buyers and posting items to be sold. And they're busy planning to take down the elementary schools. I didn't bring a full sledgehammer because with this rowdy crowd, you never know. And improving the Dover campus bus and tra car traffic. There is some question about his superhuman powers. Too often, he's been seen spotted on the roof of various buildings, and no one can remember finding a ladder anywhere. <laughs> There's also some debate about his ability to see through walls, since he can tell you where plumbing, electrical, and other mechanical are at moment's notice. He also has a superhero ability to change clothing rather quickly. One moment he's in a meeting with a suit on, and then you turn around and he's outside wearing Timberlands and a Carhartt jacket. And he does all of this while making everyone feel like he knows them personally and they are important. He is so personable that if you call him or catch him in the hall, even when he's carrying a very heavy box, he will stop makes you feel like your question or problem is extremely important to him at that moment. And he will listen to you with concern and interest even when you're asking for signs to be installed that are already there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's happened. Um, he also has a great sense of humor. Since he goes into parts of the buildings that most of us don't see, he finds lost treasures and puts them in Kim Bonvisuto's office <laughs> as a surprise. <laughs> now, Kim's never told where these treasures have come from, so we're guessing that one came from Holly Lane? Okay. So imagine for me coming into your office one morning, turning the lights on, and finding this across the wall from your desk. Well, I'll admit the scream by Edvard Munch is a piece of modern, it's an icon of modern art 
it might not be the first thing you want to see in the morning. <laughs> so we all kind of hit that point at one point during the day, let's be honest. All right, so without his leadership, guidance, kindness, compassion, knowledge, and work ethic, Westlake would not be where we are today. The community, parents, staff, and students are all indebted to him for all that he has done and continues to do. I am thrilled to present this year's Ohio PTA Achievement Award to our Director of Business Affairs, Dave Kosovar. Thank you. Uh, boy, I, I, there's not many times I don't know what to say, but um, not too sure what to say. Um, yes, I've been on roofs, but it's only because I'm contemplating maybe jumping at some point. Um, and uh, that was a, I love all the stuff up here. That was great. Um, you know, none of this happens um, without my partner in crime back there, Lisa Zook. And with all of Lisa. At, and, and, and with, with my team, I, I mean, you know, like we say, we don't do this in a vacuum and we all do it for the right reason. Um, my staff, uh, maintenance, custodial, food service, transportation, they're, they're, all, they're all the tops. And you should be very proud of that group because um, they're looking out for all of us. So um, thank you, I appreciate it. My wife, Barb, you, boy, you fooled me. <laughs> So our next award is called the Helping Hands Award, and myself and my lovely friend Nicole Sauer are going to present it. I do not control her, let me just put it out there. There's no hook, I can't pull her off, so please bear with us, I've heard stories. Ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. So, we are nearing the end of the night, and there are just two awards left, so hang on there with us. I've asked Nicole to join me in doing this award. The Helping Hand Award is a district-wide award given to a PTA member who has provided a high level of involvement and support to accomplish the PTA. Our recipient was nominated by, on this, by this award, for this award, by four different people. Uh, we would like to share with you a highlight reel of what led her from member to leader. Our recipient started her journey in the Westlake Early Childhood PTA as a parent trying to make connections for her children and herself. But we have to take one minute to recognize those early, where's the early childhood PTA people? Okay, I always have to stop and take a minute because you people are where it begins. <clears throat> So I know that it's tough to leave little ones, okay? It gets easier when you're, they're older. Um, I met this girl um, in the early childhood PTA. She was in the same play group as uh, my son and uh, the other children that I met in early childhood PTA. Uh, they are my friends um, that I've had for a lifetime. So look that, you can look forward to that. <laughs> So in the early childhood PTA, she quickly forged friendships and worked on many committees to strengthen programs and services. Our recipient is F-U-N. She brought a positive attitude and a fun demeanor. You guys thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? Yeah. This is a clean show, folks. Um, this is what she does to me. Uh, she brought out a positive attitude and a fun demeanor to all that she did. It wasn't long before she undertook the role as president. <laughs> I only wrote the F-U-N. <laughs> like she did that. I didn't write the other part. But that was real funny. <laughs> All right, if you want something done, okay, you, you ask a busy person to do it, okay? They will always get it done for you, okay? I don't know how this girl does it. She has a full-time job, and they're just like, uh, you want to help? 
this person because I'm not allowed disclosing the name because she thinks that this person doesn't know who it is yet. <laughs> okay. All right, will you help us with something? And this girl's like, sure, not a problem. I have a full-time job, two kids. Husband, one and one. I'll add some time in. <laughs> am, I, am I here? I don't know. Okay. I just made it up. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is how our five over phone call happens. Um, I'm like the serious one and she's the funny one and it just it ends up. So when the school district put on a bomb levy to build a new elementary school on the ballot, she was asked to take a lead in the effort and she did. She eagerly knocked on doors, made phone calls, put up those lawn signs, rallied a team to help get the necessary votes. Who here helped on the levy? Raise your hands. Okay, we're gonna take all of your names down. <laughs> because of all of you and because of her dedication and passion for our West Lake City School Districts, it passed. So we want to thank you. And the children thank you as well. All right, so now we have a lot of dough, right? We have millions, right? <laughs> millions. I don't know exactly how much. <laughs> I see you doing that. Millions, okay? So now we have a new giant elementary school. It's huge, it's beautiful. Thank you for the tour, it was beautiful. Okay, you do need to put something on the walls though. <laughs> little, you know, little. Um, the, uh, something on the walls. Something on the walls, okay? Give them some money to buy something for the wall, like a map. I don't know, like, I don't know. Something for the walls, okay? Um, maybe, have like an artist in residence. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. What do you think, Goggin? <laughs> That's what you did to me. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just picking it up. Oh my God. All right. So we have this big school. Okay, but nobody thought, at least I didn't, until the time came, where I was like, we're going to have to merge that one PTA that. Stop crying. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to merge those four PTAs into one PTA. I was like, oh, who is gonna get stuck doing that? <laughs> oh, but you know what? I said there would be one person who would be perfect for that job, okay? She is friends with everyone, okay? She was the early childhood PTA president, so she knows everyone, and everyone loves her. Okay, I love you. Um, so they said, okay, would you do it? She's like, let's see, I got a little see. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> and she did it, okay? She did it, and she does. She uses tactics like other people, like Samiti, right? I believe you said, drag friends into it. I believe Falcone said, sucking them in. <laughs> okay, if you're a leader, that's what you need to do. <laughs> that's what you do. Because we get sucked in for everything. Okay, and we're happy to do it because you are super fun. And whatever she does is totally worthwhile. Sometimes people just need a nudge. She's a nudger. I don't know where we are. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna say <laughs> Oh, did we say that? Did say oh, wait, that. that's my part. <laughs> did I? I, I skipped you. <laughs> she skipped her. Okay, now, you got a long last part. This is the last part. This is the last part. Okay. <laughs> okay, so our recipient is not even from this area. You would think this girl was born, red, bred in this area. Sort of like Falcone, Holly Lane, Hillier, all of it. No, this girl was from, ooh, I can't say that because my daughter goes to Ohio State. Okay, but I'm just going to say Michigan. Okay. Um... <laughs> So she bleeds green and white, okay? When I go to uh, football games with the girl, she had, you have green on white today. Uh, she has green on right now, green on right now. Um, she bleeds green and white. I mean, nobody did I think could ever have more demon spirit than Megan Matu. Is she back? 
she's back, okay? That girl, you have so much spirit, right? She's right there with you, right? Right there with you. Um, here, that's you. Thanks. <laughs> How do you go after that? I mean, so currently our recipient serves as the Westlake Elementary PTA first ever president. She leads with grace and open minds, humor, and the ability to connect with people. She does an extraordinary job leading with positive energy. She is always asking, how can I help you? And she does. She does all of these volunteer efforts while also working a full-time job that she gets paid for. It's amazing. <laughs> and we love her for that. She is the woman in our life that we ask, how does she do it all? And she does it. Day after Christmas, Christmas decorations, gone, boop. How do you do it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Maya Angelou said, <laughs> Maya Angelou said, I've learned that people will forget what you say. People forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. She works to make everyone feel like they are important, necessary, and loved. Everyone matters to her. Our recipient is a wife, a mother, daughter, friends, our counselor, our cheerleader, and she is our sister of our heart. <laughs> You know the, res <laughs> the recipient. I know. <laughs> okay. You know the recipient of the Helping Hands Reward. <laughs> For the work in the community. I'm so blessed. To call home my mom. I know I'm only supposed to say a couple words, but you had no chance of keeping her on script. So. <laughs> I did try. Yeah. So first of all, I want to let you know that Sarah's folks are in the back. They came in from Dearborn, Michigan today to, to say hello. So if there was a Helping Hands uh, award for our family, she would have won every year. So um, we are very grateful to the community of Westlake um, for welcoming us from Michigan. When we moved here, we didn't know anybody, and we'd, we know a lot of people now. So um, congratulations, Sarah. Uh, so your, uh, your 2020 Helping Hands Award winner, Sarah Camden. humbled. I usually am not short for words. <laughs> I am surprised. I did not expect this. And I'm so thankful. Earlier today I asked Ryan, I said, you know, I don't get nervous usually talking, but I'm pretty nervous today. I said, do you get nervous giving speeches? He's like, yeah, not too much. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am. This is truly the best community in the world. Being part of the Westlake PTAs, joining an early childhood PTA, it has been truly the best experience of my life. Nicole Sauer is the first person I met in early childhood PTA. <laughs> we were part of, um, I showed up to a Clay Park. There was a, like a summer, what is it called? Membership drive. Membership drive. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm losing my You're words. <laughs> and I live by Clegg Park, so I strolled my little stroller with Ryan, who was in his stroller at the time, over to, um, over to Clegg Park. Thought, hey, I'll check that out. Little did I know what impact it would have on my life forevermore. For all of you, I'm very grateful. I met Lola in early childhood. I met all of you at some point through our time here in Westlake, and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you for this award. Thank you to my mom and dad for making this trip. They are amazing. Um, I have the best family in the world, so I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. It's getting more and more challenging to follow. <laughs> okay. Our final award this evening is the T and PTA Award, and it will be presented by Lauren Backus and Jen Medved. Hello, partner in crime. All right, good evening. Uh, glad to be up here again, here at the end of the night, capping you off. <laughs> All right, so we are talking about um, one of, you know, the awards that um, is so fun to give out and see so many staff come and support the winners. So let's get started. Um, as the parents in the room know, uh, first grade is an important year for children. They're sprouting from babyhood to student status. They're learning at an incredibly rapid pace as they absorb knowledge like little sponges, their vocabulary and their skills across so many subjects expand. Uh, at this age, teachers are undoubtedly special to students. Um, and some of them have kids visiting them well into their middle school and high school years. Um, Tonight's winner is a strong uh, supporter of PTA. Her teaching approach supports the PTA's mission to make every child's potential a reality by engaging and empowering families and communities to advocate for all children. I think I said that earlier. <laughs> She's a tremendous advocate, looking for the strengths and opportunities in each child, working with their family to bring out the very best in that student. Parents remember creative projects like donating a Go Noodle dance party after school, 50th day of 50th day celebrations, Thanksgiving projects, fairy tale STEM activities, rainforest projects, zoo field trip t-shirts, all kinds of good stuff. Those zoo field trip t-shirts are making their way into quilts for college students. Uh, parents always feel welcome in her classroom, partnering to educate through various classroom and volunteer, volunteer opportunities. Her enthusiasm and boundless energy for her students is unquestionable. Her classroom is sought after, and it's said that parents have been known to request her as a teacher. Of course, not that any of us would request a teacher after we've been explicitly told not to do that. <laughs> So anyway, um, to me, keeping a room full of six and seven year olds attention for hours sounds really hard, uh, but this teacher accomplishes it with grace. Maybe it has something to do with her love for the theater. And you may be wondering why Mrs. Medved, tonight's outstanding educator for, or our putting the T in PTA teacher winner is standing here to with me. really mad at me because I made her write a speech. <laughs> okay, so um, she came straight from a board meeting where her own child was speaking um, because she thought she was jointly presenting with me to a friend. So thank you for being here. Yes, she is the one being honored tonight. <laughs> Uh, as I mentioned, Mrs. Medved is a great partner in our school community. She's selflessly volunteered her time at PTA events. She actively supports various initiatives and programs that are being dreamt up by elementary school PTA all the time. Um, she's not afraid to ask for help from aides and parents in her classroom and keeps her students at the center. Over 14 years, she's taught 300 first graders to write, add, subtract, and fall in love with reading. I stole that line from her. <laughs> she's 
she's also taught them to be responsible kids, reminding them to wash their pee pee hands and behave in the school restrooms and on the playground and in the hallways. She helps them take the spotlight even if they're shy. She identifies those kids that work well with special needs students and seats them together. She works hard to give each student what they need and optimizes her classroom dynamic. Jennifer is a busy mom of four kids and wife to her husband, Mike. No, how, no matter how tired she may be, and I'm sure she's tired sometimes, like we all are, um, she never shows it in her classroom, at least not that I have seen. It's truly a gift to our school when we have a teacher who adores children and loves what they do every day. I feel lucky to have had Mrs. Medved as an influencer for my daughters. At a young age, they had the opportunity to see a caring, results-oriented, talented woman in action. They, along with many of their classmates, loved their teacher, and they learned so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Some of her former students are here tonight, too. in my life, they're right, they're right over there, but um, <laughs> this, this, ranks, this ranks up there. Thank you so much. I have a really lovely speech about somebody who's certainly much more deserving than me. So um, I just adore teaching, and um, I think sometimes um, teachers feel underappreciated, and a night like tonight is so special. Um, I think it shows how amazing um, Westlake is and how much they really do appreciate everything we do inside and outside of our classroom. What a great community um, we work in. And I know I speak for um, all of our staff and our, and our teachers when I tell you we, we do appreciate you and, um, and how much you support us in the classroom. So thank you. We are ahead of schedule. How is that? Yeah. Although, who has had a great time tonight? Because it's been amazing. Thank you, thank you all for being here tonight. As we conclude our Founders Day celebration, we'd like to congratulate once again each of our recipients tonight. Thank you all for your involvement in our schools and your commitment to our students in the city of Westlake. We'd also acknowledge all the family members of our award recipients for their support their ability to keep the surprise surprising, and our, their participation tonight. We'd also like to mention um, the help we had from our students as well. Uh, Leah Barra is out taking photos of all of our winners tonight, and she is a Westlake City student, as, as well as Izzy Miller, who's in the back. She's a student representative. Thank you, Izzy, for... Um, She's recording the event tonight for the Westlake uh, High School Broadcasting Station. Uh, it will be aired. We're going to we'll let you all know. you get an email from me um, letting you know when that can be aired. So if you want to tape it or watch it, that would be fun. We want to thank Market District for sponsoring tonight's cupcake dessert. Um, we especially want to thank the teachers, staff, administration, and Board of Education of the Westlake City School District, with whom our partnership strengthens the goals of our educational community and the PTA mission. I'd like to thank Dean's Greenhouse for donating the beautiful centerpieces. I want to give a plug for our Westlake um, Council PTA spring flower sale. Um, they do a lot for us in terms of donating um, centerpieces and so many other things. Um, so please, for all of our units, be cognizant of your e-blast with more information to um, buy spring flowers. 
Um, yes. Um, also, please mark your calendar, your calendar for Council's next event, which is Dollar for Scholars, which is on March, um, Friday, March 13th, starting at 6 o'clock. Um, I don't know how many people were able to look at the Celebration of Volunteer slideshow tonight, um, but here's a fun, fun fact. It was very important for Kathleen and I when we were asked to do this and when we were talking about our goals for, for tonight's event is we really wanted to celebrate all that we do. Um, but here's a fun fact about Dollars for Scholars. Over the past 10 years, the PTA Council and its member PTAs have awarded 240 scholarships for a total of $240,000 to graduating high school seniors of West Lake City School District. I mean, that's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So please come out and support um, the dodgeball. Dr. Goggins in on it, right? Okay. Um, we also want to put a plug out to a Westlake Early Childhood PTA. They're having a masquerade ball n February 29th right here at La Center. Tonight is the last night to register, so please, it's $30, fabulous meals, amazing basket prizes, four park hopper pass Disney World, is that right, Tina? 20 Walt Disney World park hopper passes. We're wrapping up three family tour packs, and we're excited about auctioning two family tour packs. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. You should go to their Facebook. It's every day they're, they're posting like these, and that's like the, you know, that's like the base level package there. I mean, they have so many amazing things. So we want to give. That's a $500 prize. So there's a $500 prize. Amazing. Come out and support. It's only $30. You could walk away with $500 or hopper passes. All kinds of amazing things. Any other shout outs of other events that I'm missing? That's a really great thing about us. We're Music, yes, thank you. All kinds of stuff. Masquerade ball, dress up, put those masks on. Um, some last minute housekeeping. Uh, for all of our award recipients, please meet at the lobby in the back for a group picture. Um, and upon your exit, for anyone who knows me, I'm very sustainable. Please return, for we can use them next year, your name badges and covers. We will recycle them as well as your programs. We will recycle those as well. Oh, I did forget one thing before we wrap up the night. Because of Dean's Greenhouse generous donation, one guest per table will be going home with one of the beautiful centerpieces. So before this program, before the evening began, a member of the Founders Day team placed a yellow dot under a chair at each table. So if you guys wanna stand up and check, and you are the lucky winner of the centerpiece. <laughs> Woo, who's our winners? So thank you all very much for coming tonight and we'll see you next year.